In a location where history and art converge, there is an architectural marvel that defies gravity and has piqued tourists' interest for millennia. But do you know the mysteries that lie beneath its well-known tilt? The city of Pisa is home to the Leaning Tower, also known as the Torre Pendente di Pisa in Italian, which is much more than merely a construction error. Today, we delve into the history, mystery, and obscure facts of this famous structure. The tale of the Leaning Tower of Pisa is firmly rooted in the history of creativity, architecture, and art. Before we uncover the secrets behind its distinctive tilt, let's go back to the 12th century and the construction of this beautiful structure. The tower was initially meant to be a collection of religious structures that would highlight the power and wealth of Pisa, a significant maritime republic at the time. These structures would have included a cathedral, a baptistry, and a bell tower. The first brick was set on August 9th, 1173, commencing a period of development that would last for over 200 years. Gothic and Romanesque architecture elements are used in the tower's original design by architect Bonanno Pisano. The building's eight levels, which also contain the chamber for the seven bells, are embellished with lavish arcades and columns, demonstrating the ideal fusion of engineering and imagination. But right when it got to the third story, the project encountered its first problem. The tower began to sag due to the fragile, unstable subsoil's inability to support the weight of the building. The construction was stopped for almost a century, giving the earth accidentally time to settle and maybe sparing the tower from collapsing too soon. After the interval, the architectural project kept going. In 1272, under Giovanni di Simone, building resumed. By building taller levels, with one side being taller than the other, he attempted to compensate for the tilt. Despite many obstacles, including wars, the tower was eventually completed in the 14th century, and it now stands as a testament to the resourcefulness and persistence of the Pisans. Over the years, the tower has witnessed several historical events, such as wars and natural disasters, in addition to serving as the tangible symbol of how how individuals can overcome challenges and stand tall, albeit with an apparent lean, it also acts as a reminder of Pisa's famous past. Actually, the peculiar tilt is largely responsible for its renown. A severe 3.97 degree inclination is present in the tower. Because the lean grew over time and stabilizing efforts were only able to partially correct and repair it, it's a unique fusion of artwork and science. Despite the challenges, the tower's designers and engineers persisted, adapting and improvising as necessary to ensure that it will not only stand, but also last for many years to come. It's currently among the most iconic structures in the world and a representation of the city it adorns. The tilt of the leaning power of Pisa initially draws the eye of the visitor, but if you can get past the lean, you'll discover a stunning specimen of Romanesque design. The tower's eight-story circular structure, adorned with ornate columns and arches, offers more than just a lovely setting. Each tier features exquisitely recessed and projecting gas galleries that showcase the era's architectural brilliance. The tower's topmost room is home to seven bells, one for each musical note. Pisa's heart has been filled with a lovely symphony for as long as these bells have been ringing in harmony. The largest bell, Assunta, which weighs an astounding 3,620 kilograms or 7,980 pounds, has decorated the tower since 1655. The tower served as a beacon of scientific advancement, which was another crucial purpose. Galileo Galilei, a prominent physicist and astronomer, is claimed to have used the throughout the world. This is the Wanderlust Journals signing off.